All right, guys. So, um, hello today. Today we're gonna learn about how to convert um, hexadecimal numbers and octal numbers uh, back and forth, um, and we're gonna use this cool method using binary. And this method really only works if uh, the bases that you're thinking of are some like uh, some base of two. So, for example, like it has to be two to the power of something to make that number. So hexadecimal is sixteen. That's two to the power of four. Octal is 8, 2 to the power of 3. I mean, I'm sure you could also do this with numbers like 64 and 32 and so on. But, um, well, here's the work that we will do, but let's start over from, you know, let's start from scratch. The American Computer Science question said convert this number, which is B E D. Now, you'll recognize that as something you sleep in, but it's in hexadecimal and convert that to octal. Um, now yeah, if you watch the last video, you can do this with the foolproof method of just constantly dividing. Uh, constantly dividing and getting a numerator. Uh, it's in the previous video. But I have another method on how to do this. Um, but first let's set up A, B, C, D, E, and F. This is because in hexadecimal, the number 10 corresponds to A, 11 to B, 12 to C, and so on. Um, you know, because we don't really have like a specific symbol in our decimal-based world um, for a number like 14. So what you do, first of all, is you split, the, you split this number up into all of the letters that it is. Um, sorry if I'm doing a capital B. It should really be lowercase. Um, but it doesn't really matter. But so you do this almost as if these are all separate numbers, okay? These are all separate uh, hexadecimal numbers. Totally have nothing to do with it, each other, right? And then you convert that to binary. So B, the value of B really corresponds to 11. E really corresponds to 14. And D is 13. So you have to convert each of these guys to binary. Now, something I do to help myself, because you know I'm not uh, I'm not smart enough to just be able to do these in my head, is I set something up like this. And this is in binary. If you watched the last video, you'll know that if you have a number in binary like zero, one, one, zero, or something like that, the first one represents the value of two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, and two to the three, and so on. And what this really means is 1, 2, 4, and 8. So to convert to hexadecimal, this is, uh, to convert from hexadecimal, this is all we need. So uh, this is as far as we need to go. But 11 in hexadecimal, what is that? Um, well, four, uh, well, 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So let's do 1, 0, 1, 1. Oops, bad handwriting, but oh well. So 14, uh, that is, well, 14, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, so 1, 1, 1, 0. Um, 13, how about that? Um, well, again, 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so 1, 1, 0, 1. All right, now, now what you got to do, is mash this number back together and it goes to 0, 1, 1, 1, then 3 ones, 1, 2, 3, 0. Um, now you really have to be careful here because binary looks complicated and it's annoying and you might accidentally drop a 1 or add a 0 or something like that. So always make sure that you're not doing that. You Always be careful because I know I personally do it all the time. Okay, so something weird about this is that uh, you notice how this is base 16. 16 is 2 to the power of 4. And when we convert it to binary, how many digits do we get? We get four digits. Um, that is, that is, uh, those ideas are connected, and that is uh, kind of why this method works. I'm not going to get too into it, but to go to 8 now, well, 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Um, to the power of three, so now we have to take these three at a time. And 
be careful. Start, I'll show you later why, but start dividing them into groups of three, starting from the right, okay? So we do that, and we do that. Okay, sweet. So we convert each of these numbers individually back. So 101 in binary, uh, 101 to decimal equals really the number 5. Um, 111 that really equals uh, 7. And then we already did this, 5, 5. So you have your answer now, 5, 7, 5, 5, and that is in base 8. Um, now, just to really know why that works, it's because, I mean, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to get into it, but it's because 101, three digits in binary, can get you all the numbers that are in one digit of base 8. So what values can this give you? Well, the maximum of you know three digits in binary is just 111. And 111, that corresponds to 7. And the minimum it can give you is 0, 0, 0. And that corresponds to 0. And in base 8, each digit really only represents um, you know, those values, 0 to 7, like, they can only be in 0 to 7, kind of like in our decimal system, um, each digit can really only be 0 to 9. Um, so that's kind of why that works. But I want to show you something just so you are careful. And it's the reason why I started dividing them into groups of 3, starting from the right. Um, let's just start with a binary number. And let's do 1, 1, 0, 1. What would you do if I told you to convert this to hexadecimal? Well, you divide it into groups of 4, and conveniently enough, this is already in a group of 4, um, so you'd see what the value of this is. This is 1 plus 4 plus 8, and this is 13. So this is the value 13, but again, in hexadecimal, 13 corresponds to D. So in hexadecimal, you would say that 1101 is D. But how about if you want to convert it to octal? And this is why you have to be careful on how you group these into groups of three. Well, you start from the right, and you know, you got one group right there. However, look, you need a group of three, but you only got one digit. Well, you can cheat and you can really make it a group of three by just putting zeros. You just put zeros at the end. Um, and that doesn't change the value of this number at all. It's kind of like if, say in base 10, I just gave you num any number like 31, right? 31 is equal to if you, for some reason, you're stupid enough and said zero, zero 31. I mean, you're, this number doesn't really matter. It doesn't factor into it. So it's equal. So now you do this, and 101, um, we already found out, that equals 5, and 001, that just equals 1, so in base 8, this is 18. Alright, so I've taken long enough, so I'm just going to leave you guys, but um, yeah, so that was converting hex and octal uh, back and forth using binary. Uh, you can also if you get the reasoning behind this video, you can go to any number you want, 32, 64, any number that's a, uh, some sort of base of 8. Uh, sorry, uh, some sort of base of 2. Um, so stay tuned for the next video where I'll probably just show you how to add, in, add and subtract these numbers.